In this video, I'll show you how to fix your um, Logitech G203 in case every time you click once on the clicker, it double clicks or if you have troubles with your scroll wheel. So if you don't want to open the mouse and you want to try something simple, just try blowing uh, into the mouse right through the front over here. If you have one of these that is a, just a blower, go ahead point it there and do this during about two three minutes very intensely you see there's a, a slit here two slits right over there and dust can get in and this can make this air so just go ahead blow like this if not just blow with your mouth do it because many times this solves the problem and it's not worth losing time opening the mouse if you know this can be done in two minutes and do the same thing then with your scroll wheel if this is the problem. Put over there and, and blow. I know there are some cans of compressed air that shoots air at a much faster uh, debit than this. If you have one of these, perfect. Just push it, push the air over there, right around the scroll wheel, right under the clickers and check if your mouse works. If not, no problem. Let's uh, go to the second solution. Okay, for the next step, we need to disconnect the mouse first. Then we'll need to open the mouse. So to do so on the back of um, this Logitech 203, there is a screw over here. I know we don't see it because there is a sticker and there is two screws behind those pads. Now we can open it in different ways. What I like to do is to take a flat screw driver, a small one like this and peel those pads first. So there's no magic trick really, you just need to get it under without damaging or at least damaging the least possible. And then the pad will come out. You can try to remove it with your nail and you see that's the first screw over there. So you'll do this for the other pad as well. You see there's another screw and finally the last one is over there but we don't need to remove the sticker necessarily i'll show you how so now you need to switch from a flathead screwdriver to a phillips screwdriver i suggest you get one of these kits this this i got it uh, locally but i'll try to put a link in the description if you want to get one of these from amazon since it has many different bits here that is great if you want to repair electronics in general. So you really need a Phillips screwdriver that is very thin and then unscrew each of them. So here we have the first screw. Don't lose them. Here we have the second one. And the third one, as I said, if you Put your finger off here you're gonna feel there's a small hole over here so it's right on the right side of that triangle you're gonna poke the hole with your screwdriver like this and then you're gonna undo the screw the same way you did for the other ones and when you unscrew it the screw may come out may not come out mine didn't come out but i know it's unscrew you just have to Take your fingers and lift the top portion of the mouse like this. You see, it separates. You can put the top part aside. We won't need it for now. So this is uh, what your mouse looks and the clickers are right over there on each side. You may also see the scroll wheel over here and its contacts. In my case, you see there's a lot of hair so this can cause the problem. You can remove it with your uh, finger, the hair that you see at first. At least this will go out. And make sure that you clean the big debris, the one that you can see with your fingers or with a Q-tip, okay? Because sometimes this can go between the clickers and can cause the problem. So. Once you're done, okay, let's say it's clean, there's no more hair or no more debris. What we need to do is, well, you, you need some of these isopropyl alcohol. I suggest 
you choose one with the highest percentage. This means that it has more alcohol, therefore it will evaporate even faster and leave no residue. Then what you need to do is to take just a bit of this. Okay, don't need a lot. And first start, if you, you have a clicking problem, you're gonna apply on those clickers like this. And you can even click so it goes inside and clean whatever gunk was there like that do the same for the other one over here just dab it you don't need to necessarily rub and then same thing go ahead and click many times then for the scroll wheel in case this was your problem what you can do is again take some of this alcohol and try to apply it over here roll the scroll wheel click on it okay and everywhere try to clean with the alcohol very well same thing on the other side here you see I didn't clean the hair properly but in your case hopefully there won't be any hair like this and roll it move around the scroll wheel okay take your time and do it then once you're done before assembling i suggest that you test the mouse so just connect it via usb and start clicking and checking if the problem is still there and hopefully this will solve your problem you can also check the top part of the mouse if the problem is still there because sometimes there's debris on these pieces that clicks again take some alcohol and clean them very well. Make sure there's uh, absolutely no hair, no dust, no crumbles of chips or whatever. Okay, and when you're done, the assembly, assembling back is quite easy. Just put back the top part, click it with your hand, okay? Once it's in this position, take back the screws and go ahead and screw that screw them back don't forget the third one mine is still there so i just have to screw it like this and finally don't forget to put those pads stick them back and you are done so I hope this was useful. If you have other tricks that can solve this problem, please leave a comment down below. Or if one of these tricks worked, I just want to know, just write it down too. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like.